These zebra mussels came from Lake Winnipeg. They were discovered in the North Basin of Lake Winnipeg in the summer of 2018, and we kind of knew that the clock would start ticking at that time. You know, sure enough, one year later, uh, they're in Play Green Lake. Since then, we've seen populations really, you know, grow exponentially. Places like Stevens Lake, you know, Kettle Forbay, uh, we saw populations increase by 100,000% in 2020 alone. So as of right now, we have zebra mussels, adult zebra mussels in every single one of our Nelson River facilities. And uh, what we're doing here today right now is to determine density and growth so that we can better schedule uh, our mitigation treatments for next summer. The Nelson River is the farthest north that zebra mussels have been discovered in North America to date. We're taking a leading role in tracking of zebra mussels within the province as well because you know, they're, they're going to cause us some of the biggest impacts in the province. So these bio boxes act as a proxy or as a, you know, a live look into our raw water systems so that we can determine uh, if zebra mussels are living and thriving within our generating stations. Worst case scenario, zebra mussels get into our raw water systems. You know, they clog, clog our intakes, clog cooling water lines. We see, you know, we see units overheat. Uh, we get forced outages, increased maintenance. You know, it becomes, it becomes more expensive to perform our core business. So right now our plan is to use chlorine uh, to inject our systems. You know, the mussels will intake that chlorine, it will kill them off. We're using residual amounts of chlorine, 0.6 parts per million. You know, it's a similar to the chlorine you'd find in your drinking water, for example. And so once this, this chlorine and this water is flushed through our raw water lines, uh, we then neutralize it and uh, before being released to the Nelson River.